I'm here to fulfill a request that Hey Bay 27, I think it's 27, uh, did a while ago. I'm sorry because I've been kind of behind my request, but anyways. And it's about the parts of the eye. And it's a very uh, interesting because we all, well, the people that make make videos on YouTube it's like oh and put in your tear duct and your aura corner and your crease and your brow bone and your lower lash and your waterline and your tight line and you're like uh, okay so yeah hey babe you're right um so um basically I'm gonna start with with the explanation of it okay so the eye is um parts of the eye would be the brow this is the brow bone or the highlight area. This is where uh, generally we apply like a lighter color. So it would be more, uh, this bone would be more pronounced and and will complement the rest of the color to, to you apply. If you're going to apply like um, this area is going to be really shimmery, uh, I really suggest that you use a matte highlight. And if you're going to make a subtle shimmery but subtle, all over, you can go ahead and put a little bit of shimmer here. Um, the thing is that the shimmer here would uh, enhance all your, the flat cloth, including the little hairs that you haven't plucked in a long time. So that said, this is the highlight area or the brow bone because of the, you can feel the brow bone in here. Okay. So also, um, I'm going to put a mirror here. Okay. Now, as for, oh, sorry, as, as for the crease goes, you can hear people saying inner crease and outer crease, and that's pretty much correct, because the crease is where, where your lid folds. There's people, uh, well, Asian people, many of them, they don't have, uh, like a crease. They have only the lid. They don't have a crease, actually. But they can feel it, uh, by touching the bone and where the bone is. And they can actually put something in there. This is the eyeball and the bone in the middle. That, that would be the crease if they had one. And, um,. So that if you have Asian eyes, you can recognize that area and create a very uh, natural looking crease with deeper colors in here, even if you don't have a, a crease. Um, th this would be the inner corner of the eye. You can call it inner corner like from the tear duct that is right here where you get your tears out of when you cry. Yes, I said that. Okay, so this is from here to, I would say, one-third to the entire length of the eye. So I would, if I say, I'll put that on my inner corner of the eye, I would say this area. Like from tear duct to the white, where the white part of my eyeball ends. That will be the inner corner. Now... For, or there's people that also say, I apply this eyeshadow so-and-so product on the inner third or the inner half. So that that's the idea, to, to show you where to start and where, where, when you finish. So the outer corner would be this, this area. The outer corner could be like on the lid or they can be talking about the lash line also. So this will be the inner corner of the eye. This will be the outer corner. There's a uh, inner crease. When you're going to apply a, a darker color, the inner crease would be just this area that your brush would cover, like, say, the inner crease would be not all the inner corner, but only the inner crease that is this area of the crease. The crease is all this. That's the crease where your your eye folds. And the inner crease will be this area. 
just what what your brush covers that will be the inner crease and this will be the outer crease and um, the lash line is all the length of your eye on the lash line on the where the lashes are from in, from the tear duct from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner of the eye okay so that will be the lash line upper lash line and lower lash line and that's the same for for the underneath part of your eye um, what are the references that we use um, that's it I think uh, brow bone crease and oh and the lid very important uh, the main color or the color that, that we focus a lot on is on the lid color that is all the mobile lid they call it mobile lid because it's the one that moves when you blink so this area under the crease and to the lash line that will be the lid so when I say I apply this on my lid and up to the crease will be just to this part and then I say and then another color for the crease then I apply other one just on the crease and so on and so forth so um, yeah that's, I think that's about it the water line is the area that gets wet here that it's very hard to get color on because of the fact that it's always wet but there's there's tips there's tricks and there's products that really stay in your water line uh, if you take like a napkin or something really absorbent and dry it and then apply the product without like doing this b before you can get a really good staying pow power on with almost any product but um, if you do going to do a smoky eye or a look that you really want to want to leave it on you want you you want the color to stay in your waterline I really suggest that you get uh, a special product that would be like a uh, waterproof eyeliner or or a long lasting eyeliner something like that color stays very good still style 24 hour liners are very good um, I've heard that um, matte fluid line uh, the really stay in the waterline but don't quote me I haven't tried them and, uh, and the tight line is this it's like the waterline but on the upper lip uh, upper lip upper lid which is this one there. okay I think Sparkage that just does the lower lash line and then uh, she tighten, tightens up the the eye and then she gets that waterline like the tight line uh, color too so this is about that's about it this is these are the parts of the eye um, around your eye you can find your dark circle area or your under eye area is this one um, and that's about it now that's it so I hope this help this helps this, this is um useful in some way I'm just request I'm just feeling fulfilling this request thank you guys for watching thank you for requesting thank you for all your support and I guess that's it I have many things coming up for you guys many other looks and yeah thank you so much for watching have a great great day